everyone, my name's Elizabeth, and I'm, uh, my username on Ravelry is Grey Autumn Rain. And my three kids and I thought it would be a good idea to try our hand at doing a knitting and crocheting podcast. So this is our very first attempt to please be kind. All right, the first thing I want to show you, I'll talk about first, and then you'll get to see it. Um, for Christmas, I asked my mom for yarn. She asked me what I wanted, and I said yarn. And I was thinking, you know, the sort of modern yarn, and I was actually thinking of something like this. This is a, this is a hat, the, the Farley hat by Tin Can Knits that um, I made out of a single skein of Plymouth Yarns Gina that my oldest daughter, Margaret bought for me as a present, and this is great. I was playing yarn chicken with it. I used every single scrap of this 50 gram ball and making this barley, and luckily I've got a small head, managed to do it. So that's what I was thinking of. What my mom gave me on the other hand was some Plymouth Pat, yeah, so, so, sorry, some Patton's Aerial I have no idea how old this was. This was from her mother's stash. Given that my grandmother died when I was two, I have no idea how old it is. It's, it's got to be pushing 50 at the very least. Um, so it's, I mean, it's lovely. It's white. It's 80% um, wool, 20% poly nylon. It says man-made fibers. Um, but it was not as inspiring as the lovely Gina with its long, you know, colorway changes and beautiful jewel tones. Um, so I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking of one thing and then another. Um, and finally, with the help of my daughter, we decided to pair it with some of this chromo worsted. This is the sugar cookies colorway. Um, chroma is one of those lovely um, long color change yarns. And so when you put the two together, it works out a bit better. Also, it's a very affordable way to make a sweater because this is free. Um, and the chroma is a little pricey. It's, you know, you can get it on sale for less than $10 a wall, but it's usually at least $10 a wall. And you need several to make a decent sized sweater. Anyway, so Margaret, you come here and show off the beautiful cardigan here. All right. So I just called this the sugar cookies cardigan because that's the name of the color we used. This is just a top down raglan and I striped the sugar cookies with the, the white, the old white patterns yarn. Um, it's got buttons, yes. Um, and it's a, uh, I didn't use a pattern for this one. There are tons and tons of Three patterns on Ravelry for top-down raglan cardigans. There are nearly 1,000 free patterns for top-down sweaters. Um, of those, if you search just for worsted weight, you get nearly 200 free patterns. So you can find one. And all I did was I used a stitch count from an existing pattern. Um, I did a couple of rows of garter at the collar. Then I started striping, striping the chroma. With the sugar cookies, the, yeah, the sugar cookies promo with the white, you know, down to the arms, yeah, did the body, finished off with a few more garter stitch rows in the white, um, did the sleeves in the round, finished them with a white cuff. I made this a bit big for Margaret because she's still growing; she's nine, um, and I just picked up a, a, a garter stitch button band. That's it. That's all there is to say about that. Thank you, Margaret. All right, the second sweater I want to talk to you about is from Duncan. This is Duncan. All right. Now, he wanted a Batman sweater. Let's, uh, let's adjust that so we can see the bat symbol on your sweater. Yes. Um, this The pattern I used for this sweater is called Harvester. Um, and it's just for the, the plain pullover. Uh, it does not have the bat symbol on it. Um, but the, it's a uh, harvester by Alyssa uh, Samantha Taylor. Well, yeah, I got it off Ravelry. Um, and the yarn I used was Knit Picks Preciosa in Panther for the black and canary. And then I just used a um, an online 
utility called KnitPro to take a GIF of the bath symbol and turn it into a giant knitting chart. Um, anyway, the base the base sweater pattern is nice. It's got a little um, split hem at the bottom. It's got garter stitch sleeves, which were not so fun to knit because knitting garter stitching around is, is nobody's favorite thing, but it does make for a nice sleeve. Um, they've got long cuffs that you can cuff back so that uh, the seven-year-old will get to wear it for a while. And I think I did a pretty good job with the bat symbol. What do you think, Duncan? Is that a good job with the bat symbol? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Margaret, can you adjust the camera back? Now it's yes. Now it's Martin's turn. I do not. Mm. Okay. She is working on the Spider-Man sweater for him. I'm working on a Spider-Man sweater for Martin. And okay. This is Martin. Martin's favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Yeah. And I am working on but he keeps a sweater for him. But it's as you can see, it's a work in progress. But I do. She had to tear it most of it apart too. That's right. I had to. Yes. I ripped. I, I ripped it back. To, I, I was about halfway done with the yoke, and then I ripped it back to the neck because I didn't like how it was turning out. And when you're designing your own pattern, which I am for this, sometimes you have to rip out and do it over if you want to get it right. Right. Yes. Um, and this is just some knit picks gloss from my. Stash, the burgundy color there. I don't think it's, it's a, good to have this yarn on the floor. Oh, sorry, Margaret. Um, but yarn will fall. <sighs> All right, so it's, it's this knit hooks gloss that has been in my stash for ages. I'm very much a shop from your stash kind of person. I do use it my stash. Um, and the black is the um, Panther Freshio, so that's left over from the Batman sweater to do the spider webs. Um, I'm also a big. Uh, and a bit obsessive on using up as much of my yarn as possible, including leftovers. I play yarn chicken a lot. All right, so that's Martin's sweater. He won't be able to model today. He won't be able to model today because, yes, it's, 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 a, it's a work in progress. But maybe by the next time I get around to trying this, we'll have a bit more to show you. All right, and the last thing I'm going to show is some socks. No, I'm gonna do this. Is a sweater I'm wearing, I'm making for myself. This is, um, it's, it's gonna be like a short sweater. <laughs> Margaret, let me talk. Okay, Fine, All right. talker. This, the pattern for this is Celeste by Cecily Glowick McDonald. Um, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, the yarn is Sundar is uh, Sundaris uh, Fingling Silking Merino in the Bronze Forest color. I've had it in my stash for ages, and I've been meaning to do it in a, to a sweater for ages, and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, that's what the pattern calls for is the, the Sundara yarn. Um, you can find the pattern on Ravelry, um, and then Sundara yarn from SundaraYarn.com. Um, but it's hard to get her yarn in Indie Dyer. It's not always available. Um, so you, you kind of have to join her email list. Um, but that's the way it is with Indie Dyers. I love this color on this. Um, my mom doesn't love it so much. She thinks it looks like camouflage. But uh, I guess she's right because it is bronze forest. It's, you know, very foresty. It's nature. It is very nature -y, But I love it. All right. Um, and that's really all I've got to talk about today. I do have some other projects, but I won't share them with you yet. Oh, this is the, yeah, Margaret wants to show you the barley again, that I did with the yarn that she bought me. So how are you doing, Margaret? Hey. Yes, are you the best daughter for buying your mom yarn? Yes. Yes, you are. I got okay. it for you, like, two years ago. Two you? years ago, and I made it into the hat right away, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I just bought it for you. Well, um, I've got a Knit Picks order coming for a shawl for me. I've got plans to make a bunch of socks for my kids who apparently all love him and it's socks. Do you like your yarn socks? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to knit socks for kids who actually appreciate them, don't you? All right. Well, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this brief but hopefully information and yarn filled podcast. Bye-bye for now.